Hello everyone, this is Black Queen Hero, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. Taurus, this is your mid-monthly reading for August 2022. So this is for August um, 5th, the 15th to the 31st. So Taurus, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time it is fluid. So this reading can manifest the second half of August. It can manifest later on down the line in time. Or well, this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. <laughs> so, Taurus, I did get messages for you during a pre-shuffle. And the message that I got was, Taurus, you or somebody else is not impressed. Um, Somebody could be bragging because they, they could have got married. Taurus, your ex might get married the second half of August. And I guess, I don't know if your ex could be bragging or um, wants to make you jealous. But Taurus, you're not impressed. Um, I also picked up Taurus. You could have a current lover. And Taurus, you could be very intuitive. And you know your lover is doing dark magic um, or love spells on you. Taurus, your lover could be trying to get you to marry them. And they're doing spell work. And Taurus, you're not impressed. Um... You could be very intuitive or you already know. Somebody's not impressed with marriage or the fact that somebody's married. Taurus, you or somebody else. <laughs> but those are the mes messages that I got on the pre shuffle So I'm going to just go ahead and jump right into the reading. Um, Taurus, the Empress being your major arcana. I also just heard Taurus, you're not impressed because Taurus, you could be married, whether you're a male or a female. And Taurus, somebody could be flirting with you and you're not impressed because you're already taken. You're married. So somebody could be flirting with you or something, but you're not impressed. And like I was about to say, Taurus, you're the empress. So for the most part, the empress is not a cheater. So Taurus, you could be taken or you're married already and you're just not impressed that somebody could be trying to flirt with you or something. Or something like that, that em the empress energy. Yeah, and then the Empress right here. So, Taurus, you coming out in your reading, and that's a good thing. So, it just confirms, Taurus, you're not impressed by something or somebody. All right, so let me go ahead. So, Taurus, I'm going to pull your overall energy from a tarot deck for the mid-monthly reading. I'm going to pull you a message from the Oracle deck, and I'm going to pull um, what you can, can expect from Love and Romance. So... What can Taurus, what's Taurus overall energy for the second half of August? What is Taurus overall energy the second half of August? All right, we had an emperor. We had an emperor, so this could still be the empress. Well, not really, but Taurus, you, you know, you the empress, but you could be in your masculine energy, so the emperor is coming out. So Taurus, whether you're a male or a female, you're in your masculine energy. So Taurus, you could have Aries in your chart, or you're dealing with an Aries. Taurus, if you're a man, this could be telling me you're married or you're a father. You could be a business owner, real estate agent, the emperor. Or Taurus, you're in control. You're in control. You're taking back control. You're in control of your life. You're, you're in control of you, your life, your surroundings. You're in control, the emperor. The second half of August. So that's a good thing. The emperor being your overall energy, Taurus, that's a good thing. I heard nobody's going to stop your shine, Taurus. Nobody's going to, you're not going to let anybody stop your shine or get you caught up. I just heard that. You're not going to let anybody stop your, stop your shine or get you caught up. So, um, I was going to say Aries. So, um, Taurus, I don't know if somebody's trying to get you caught up. Taurus, somebody could be trying to trick you into cheating on your lover so they can, like, get you caught up, get you caught, tell your lover that you cheated or something like that. So somebody could be trying to get you to cheat on your lover on purpose or something like that. So I also put your overall energy from a different tarot deck. This tarot deck right here, it just tells the basic meaning of the, of the tarot cards. So you got the emperor, and these are the basic meanings. So it's respect fatherhood 
strategic planning, control, authority, structure. So, Taurus, this is your overall energy for the second half of August. The Emperor. We got true love at the bottom of deck. Of the deck, put away your computer. So we're gonna see what you can expect in love and romance. What can Taurus expect in love and romance? The second half of August. What can Taurus expect? I don't know why, but I picked up somebody's name could begin with the letter E. So this could be your first, your middle, or your last name. It begins with the letter E. The E just stood out to me in the in emperor. The word emperor, the E just, the E, the letter E just stood out to me. So somebody name, somebody name could be been, could begin with the, the letter E. Or that's somebody's business name. I also just heard you can have that letter in your license plate as well. A license plate. The letter E. All right. What can tours expect in love and romance? All right, we have apology. Yeah, Taurus, for some of y'all, your lover could be doing dark magic on you, casting spells, trying to get you to fall in love with them or trying to get you to marry them. Taurus, if you're a female, your lover or ex, somebody's doing spell work to get you to comply in like a marriage or something. Um, Taurus, you might find out, confront your lover or your lover's going to get exposed in some type of way and they might apologize. Or Taurus, you're going to confront your lover or this ex or something. Whoever could be trying to make you jealous. But anyway, this is what you can expect in love and romance. An apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. So Taurus, in love and romance, the second half of August, you can expect an apology from a current lover or an ex. I also just heard too... Um, another scenario is Taurus, your ex's new lover was acting a fool in the past or the second half of August. And Taurus, your, your ex's new lover might have to apologize to you. Your ex's new lover, Taurus, could have been accusing you of, I don't know. But your ex's new lover was acting a fool, Taurus. And they might have, they, they, they're going to apologize to you. Or something like that going on. But, Taurus, you're going to get an apology from the third party, a current lover, or your ex. All right. Give me a message for Taurus. What's Taurus' message for the second half of August? All right. We have patience. And the emperor is also patient as well. So, the emperor could be very patient. So, patience. This is, this is your message. And then we have action. So, Taurus, you could be being patient about taking some type of action or something. Or you're being patient about somebody else taking some type of action. All right. So, let me just go ahead and jump into the reading. We got the hermit. So, Taurus, you might be ignoring somebody. The hermit... You might be ignoring somebody, Taurus. You might ghost somebody the second half of August. The hermit is also wisdom. So, Taurus, you already know what the deal is in the situation. You the hermit, so you already know. What's going on with Taurus? All right, so we got the three of wands. So, Taurus, you can have fire in your chart. Are you dealing with a fire sign? Taurus, this is the three of wands is usually good news. You might receive some type of harvest. This could even be an apology. You're seeing your ships come in. Um, Taurus, this could be somebody apologizing to you. Taurus, somebody could also be traveling to you, or you're waiting like for somebody to pick you up. You could be at an airport, you could be traveling, or somebody's traveling to you. But whatever this is, this is what you wanted. This is what you've been waiting for. This is what you've been anticipating. The three of wands is good news. You see your results. It's coming. You see it. This is like somebody waiting at the bus stop. And you could have been waiting for a long time. And it's like from afar. You see your, you see the bus coming. So you know your bus is coming because you can actually see your bus. So Taurus, you know your ships is coming in. 
Taurus, you know, you could also know your lover is about to break down and apologize to you, Taurus. It's been a long time coming. Taurus, your lover could be very stubborn, prideful. Um, but Taurus, you see the signs. You know your lover might confess to you something. Some your lover might make some type of confession to you, or you you're gonna you're gonna get a, an apology or something like that. But whether it's in love, work or life, Taurus, something's gonna go your way. The second half of August. The three of wands is good news. You're seeing your ships come in. You might even um be uh receiving a harvest for your patience. Like your patience is gonna pay off the second half of August, you being patient. And then we got the page of wands. The page of wands is also good news. All right, we got the Queen of Wands in reverse. So, Taurus, you could definitely have fire in your chart, or you could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, Taurus, the Queen of Wands in reverse could be somebody that's not taking action towards you. So, you're free, Taurus, to do what you want to do. This could be you waiting in peace. Doing something in peace, because the Queen of Wands in reverse left you alone. Taurus, somebody could have been harassing you or something like that. Taurus, if you a man, the Queen of Wands could have been trying to make you jealous. Or the Queen of Wands um, wanted to have sex with you or something. So the second half of August, Taurus, the Queen of Wands going to leave you alone. Um, Taurus, the Queen of Wands could be your third party or your ex. And they might decide to just leave you alone. The Queen of Wands in reverse could also be a bully as well. So Taurus, I'm picking up... You could be dealing with a bully or somebody that's trying to bully you or somebody that feels they're bullying you or somebody feels as though they're getting up the upper hand over you. The second half of August on the past. All right, then we got the three of pentacles. Yeah. So, Taurus, you could have also been in, a, been in the middle of a third-party situation of love. And the queen of wands in, the, in reverse might... Um, remove themselves from the equation or Taurus you or your lover is going to leave the queen of wands in reverse alone so Taurus the queen of wands in reverse could have been the third party in your situation but the second half of August the queen of wands is like going to be a non-factor yeah so Taurus I'm picking up somebody's not going to take like action towards your three of pentacles <laughs> so this could be co-parenting Taurus, if you're a female, somebody could have been trying to stop your lover from pr proposing to you. Somebody could have been doing spell work so your lover wouldn't propose to you. But the second half of August, your lover might propose to you, Taurus, or um, go purchase the ring. But in the past, the Queen of Wands in reverse was probably doing something to prevent your lover from pur purchasing a wedding ring or from proposing to you. Or this is some type of, um, this could be uh, co-parenting. So anyway, Taurus, you can have earth in your chart or you could be dealing with an earth sign. Yeah. The queen of wands in reverse. <laughs> Taurus, I don't know if you might have to get a restraining order on that queen of wands in reverse. So the queen of wands in reverse is not going to take physical action towards you. So the queen of wands might be spying. They can't, the Queen of Wands in reverse can't say nothing. They can't call you towards you. Probably got a restraining order. But the Queen of Wands in reverse is still going to find some type of way to spy. But they can't do nothing. Or something like that. Mm -mm. Some type of collaboration. Towards, I'm picking up somebody's finally leaving you alone. Or somebody that was that could have did you wrong in the past, Taurus, this person might finally apologize. Or someone's finally leave, leaving you alone. Taurus, if you're a man, you can have kids by somebody. But for whatever reason, Taurus, you don't want to co-parent with your child's mother. And maybe in the past, she was trying to make you. She was trying to make you be a father, make you co-parent, make you do this, make you do that. 
in Taurus, for whatever reason, the second half of August, your child's mother might just leave you alone. Or something like that going on. That Queen of Wands in reverse. Taurus, if you a man, somebody was trying to make you do something. So, Taurus, say like you have kids by this woman, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Taurus, you could be married and you had kids by your third party. And it's like, Taurus, that's just a decision you made. You don't want to be a part of your child's life for whatever reason. And this woman was trying to make you be a parent. But one of the reasons is, Taurus, you probably married. I mean, that's an unfortunate situation, but it is what it is. So, Taurus, this woman, your third party, might leave you alone. She might just be accepting the fact that she had a baby by a married man. And she's just going to leave you alone. Um, or, Taurus, some, I don't know. Taurus, if you're a man, this woman might just have to accept child support. So, you could be taking care of your child financially, and that's it. And the queen, of your, your child's mother is just going to have to accept it. Or something like that. But for some of y'all, Taurus, if you a man, I'm picking up. You don't want. It's not the fact that you don't. You don't want to be there for your children, Taurus. You just don't like your child's mother. She the queen of wands in reverse. This this energy. This is somebody that's a bully. She could be a scorned woman, a bully. It's like Taurus. You don't want to deal with that. Every time you go, you try to co-parent, this woman makes it hard. She makes it hard for you. Or she's very controlling or something. Taurus, if you're a female, you could um you could be in a same-sex relationship. Taurus, if you're a female, you could have been in a same-sex relationship. Taurus, whoever your ex is, this woman have kids, but you don't. And Taurus, you leaving. You leaving, Taurus. You not helping this woman take care of her kids. Taurus, you could be lesbian and, and your lover, she could have been bisexual. And Taurus, you might find out that your lesbian lover was still messing around with her child's father. And Taurus, you out. You like, I don't got time. You don't got time for baby daddy, baby mama drama. So Taurus, you could be a straight up, like you, you lesbian. You don't go both ways. You're a lesbian. But your lover, she probably bisexual or she still, she's still messing around with her child's father. And Taurus, you out. Or Taurus, your lover, whether you, Taurus, whether you a male or a female, whether you gay, lesbian, or heterosexual. Taurus, you could have knew intuitively in the past that your lover was cheating on you and they might confess. Or your lover was cheating on you the second half of August and they might confess. You're going to get an apology. And Taurus, you like, yeah, I knew, I knew it. I already knew. Three of wands. Taurus, you might tell your lover, I just wanted you to tell me. I just wanted you to tell me the truth. Or something like that. So, give me the spill with the three of wands, the queen of wands, and the three of pentacles. So, we got two threes out here. That's the empress. 33. It's still the Empress. Two threes out here. Yeah, Earth Angel. Someone good and pure with honest intentions, kind hearted, keeps it real. So, Taurus, you could be an Earth Angel. And then we have stalking. Yeah. Someone stalking you on social media or by any means possible, often checking up on you, keeping tabs, watching you. So, Taurus, this is your current lover doing this to you. This could be your ex's new lover, Taurus, that's stalking you. Or, Taurus, this could be your ex. Somebody stalking you, Taurus. So, Taurus, you could be an earth angel and somebody was stalking you. Taurus, your lover could have even been accusing you of cheating and you wasn't. You're just an earth angel. Taurus, if you're a female, you can have kids by a different man. And Taurus, your um boyfriend or your husband didn't trust you. And Taurus, you was literally like just co-parenting with your child's father. But your lover didn't trust you. And your lover used to stalk you or something. Or 
or Taurus, you might come home or something the second half of August and your lover is going to have their child's mother or their child's father in your house. And Taurus, you might walk right back out the door and be like, I don't got time for this. Uh, no. It's just certain things you just don't do depending on the situation. Yeah, Taurus, you might come home and your lover is going to have their child's mother or their child's father at your house with the kids or something. And it's like, Taurus, you might just turn around, right back around and leave. And you leaving, Taurus. For good. Or Taurus, your lover couldn't understand why you were saying while you're not home, you don't want their child's mother or child's father at the house. And your lover couldn't understand that. So Taurus, you leaving. Taurus, you could have gave your lover the uh, ultimatum. And Taurus, your lover is going to do it again and you're leaving. But Taurus, this is kind of like what you wanted anyway. This is what you wanted. Taurus, if you kept telling your lover, don't have your child's mother or your child's father in our house while I'm not at home. Taurus, your lover might do it again the second half of August and you're going to be glad they did because Taurus, you leaving. Because you probably wanted to leave anyway, Taurus, because of the situation. And Taurus, your lover going to give you a reason to just finally leave. Or something like that. Or Taurus. Yeah. Give me one more. Give me the spill. Give me one more. The Queen of Wands in reverse could also be disrespectful. So Taurus, somebody could have been being disrespectful to you. Taking you for granted. Copying your style. Yeah. Taurus, if you a female, um, you was dealing like with your lover's child's mother. And you kept telling your lover to not have that girl in your house or something. His baby mother. And he did it anyway. And Taurus, this woman, your lover's ex like be copying your style. So you don't want that woman in your house. And Taurus, your um, lover going to let her come in anyway. Why you not home or something? But somebody was copying your style, Taurus. Someone likes how you dress, talk, look, etc. So much that they try to act like you. Yeah. So, and then we have heartbreak at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, Taurus, for some of y'all, y'all dealing, um, dealing with a third-party situation in love. Taurus, whether you a male or a female. And, um, Taurus, you could have been fighting for respect, fighting for common courtesy. When it's third parties involved, baby mother, baby daddy drama. Um, it, it, it should always be boundaries, things like that. And, Taurus, your lover or your lover's ex was just crossing the line, crossing boundaries. Um, Taurus, you might leave your lover for good or Taurus, your, um, your lover or your ex might finally come to you the second half of August and apologize to you. <laughs> they see the error in their ways that they did whatever happened in the past. <clears throat> Taurus, your lover might finally see that what they was doing was wrong or disrespectful. Taurus, uh, your lover might also realize that the karmic was actually indeed copying your style. Taurus, somebody wanted, Taurus, whether you're a male or a female, somebody that was copying your style could have been lying to your lover, and that's why your lover was stalking you. So, for example, Taurus, say like you're a female, and your divine masculine was hanging out with this karmic right here. Um, Taurus, the karmic was telling your divine masculine that you was cheating on him. You're not an earth angel. You fake, you phony, you, you a liar. So Taurus, your lover, your divine masculine didn't trust you. He was stalking you. So Taurus, your divine masculine or your lover might realize it and apologize to you. He realized what the karmic was doing. The karmic was trying to break y'all apart, break y'all up on purpose. Taurus, somebody that could have been stalking you might also realize you're an earth angel. But they're not going to realize it, Taurus, till you leave the situation. 
So this could either be your lover or this is the karmic, the person that was copying your style. Taurus, whoever this karmic is, this person really thought that you was copying their style. Taurus, this person thought you was copying their style. Taurus, this person might realize the second half of August that you was not trying to copy their style when you leave the situation. Like, there's not going to be no competition because Taurus, you leaving. Or Taurus, your lover is leaving this karmic. So it ain't going to be no competition. It ain't, there's, no, there's not going to be a competition because somebody leaving somebody. Yeah, something like that going on. Somebody is leaving somebody. So, they can say what they want to say, Taurus, but what are they going to say once you leave? Like, you meant what you said, and you said what you meant. I also see, Taurus, somebody's not going to chase you, and it speaks for itself. So, Taurus, say like you was living with a lover. Or what? it don't only have to be a lover romance. It's like, Taurus, this could even be roommates or something. This could be a, yeah, you, this could be you and your friends. It's like, Taurus, you get home. Your competition is in your house with your best friend or your lover. So, Taurus, you tell your best friend they got to choose. It's either me or... Or my com or my or or the competition. It's like Taurus, your best friend is like not going to choose you. So Taurus, you leaving. Taurus, I don't know if you have a car or not, but Taurus, this could be you waiting for the bus or something like that going on. But it's like Taurus, somebody's not going to chase you, and it's going to just prove to you, it, Taurus, it's going to speak for itself. So Taurus, if somebody was saying no, I want you. I don't want the Queen of Wands in reverse. A situation is going to happen, Taurus, where somebody got to choose. And, Taurus, this person might not choose you, but, Taurus, you cool with it. You're going to be like, cool, okay, I knew it. So, let me remove myself from the situation. Let me leave. Because something going to happen, and somebody not making a choice is like them making a the choice. Taurus, this could even be roommates or your best friend. And, Taurus, you like, I'm your friend or she's your friend. And it's like, Taurus, your best friend not going to pick you. They going to stay in the house with the Queen of Wands in reverse. This girl that loves to hate you. So this karmic right here, Taurus, could have been trying to break you and your best friend up. And it's like, Taurus, your best friend is deceived. She believe everything this karmic is saying. So, Taurus, you going to turn around and just leave. But, Taurus, you like, I knew this was going to happen. Taurus, you already knew something was going to happen. And, Taurus, I don't think you're upset. You just happy that something got exposed. Now everybody know you're not crazy. Something got exposed. And Taurus, you like, okay, I'm done here. Exactly what I said. Right here, smack dab in everybody's face. Something like that going on, Taurus. Taurus, whatever you were saying. Taurus, this could even be you interacting with other friends or other family members or something. And Taurus, you was trying to tell somebody that somebody was cheating with somebody. Somebody, Taurus, you were saying something. And people didn't believe you. But Taurus, something going to get exposed. Something or somebody going to get exposed. And Taurus, everybody going to know that you was right the whole time or something like that. And Taurus, you going to be like, my work here is done. I'm going home. I told you. <laughs> yeah, something like that. What's the tea with the three of wands? What's the tea with the three of wands? Yeah, love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, nostalgic. So, Taurus, you probably knew that love was on the brain. Taurus, you probably knew that. Taurus, this could, this could even be a situation where you knew that somebody was gay or lesbian and they didn't want to admit it, but they might come out the closet or somebody's going to get caught. Somebody was sleeping with somebody, Taurus, and you knew. So, Taurus, your ships is coming in about something that you said about somebody else having love on the brain. Or, Taurus, your ships is coming in in love. Because, Taurus, you could be leaving a karmic situation behind, and you got love coming in.
All right, what's the tea? All right, so it flew out. Yeah, grudge holder. It's coming out sideways. So, Taurus, whoever the Queen of Wands is in reverse, Taurus, somebody wanted you to stoop to their level. Or, Taurus, somebody was trying to get revenge on you because you exposed them. It's like, Taurus, you exposed somebody before they got exposed. But this person was trying to get revenge because you exposed them before your exposure was confirmed. So the Queen of Wands in reverse wanted you to be a grudge holder or something like that. Or the Queen of Wands was trying to say, no, Taurus lying. Taurus just holding a grudge against me. Taurus jealous of me. Taurus want to be me. And Taurus, that wasn't the case or something like that. So the Queen of Wands, the T about the Queen of Wands being in reverse is the Queen of Wands was trying to do something that didn't work out. Or that Queen of Wands in reverse is going to get exposed as a liar. The Queen of Wands in reverse was projecting Taurus or doing reverse psychology. Or the Queen of Wands could have been doing spell work. The Queen of Wands in reverse. <laughs> so Taurus, the Queen of Wands was trying to make you out to be the bad guy. Yeah. But the Queen of Wands in reverse was having a hard time doing it. Something like that. What's the T with the Three of Pentacles? Yeah, always partying. Yeah, always partying. Yeah, Taurus, you don't give a damn. This is this this is not your problem. Taurus, you could have been living with somebody. The th this is probably not your house. You was living with somebody. Taurus, I don't know if somebody was trying to use you for a babysitter. Or like I said, Taurus, you could be a lesbian and your lover, she has kids. And Taurus, your love, your les your so-called lesbian lover was just trying to disrespect you, Taurus. Telling you she lesbian when in all reality she bisexual. Um, or somebody was collaborating and they didn't care. This is my card for somebody that don't care. So Taurus, like I said, you could have been telling your lesbian lover, don't let your child father in the house when I'm not home. I don't want him in my house when I'm not home. And Taurus, your lesbian lover was doing it anyway. Or Taurus, this is your lover. They was doing it anyway. They was collaborating. Somebody didn't care about a collaboration or the way they was collaborating. Yeah, into you, yeah. Yeah, Taurus, somebody didn't care that somebody was into you. So, Taurus, if this is in love and romance, it was a karmic around that was trying to convince your twin or your lover that you was just a, a no good person and it wasn't true. Or something like that. Yeah, something wasn't true. What was I about to do? I forgot. It slipped my mind. I was about to confirm something. Taurus, you, all come, you also can have different values, different morals from the Queen of Wands in reverse. Y'all have different uh, morals, different values. So, Taurus, I'm picking up. You could have been roommate, roommates with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Or the Queen of Wands in reverse is your competition in love, your ex-lover, or your lover's new lover, or something like that. Whoever the karmic is, the karmic could be anybody dependent on your situation. The karmic could be your, your ex-lover's new lover. The karmic could be your lover's sister, mother, aunt, whoever. But the karmic was like starting trouble, um, being an instigator, instigator lying on you, Taurus. Or you and the karmic just had different, y'all got different views, different values about life. And like I said, Taurus... You feel as though if we're together in a relationship, I don't want your child's mother or your child's father in our home that we share together and I'm not home. And Taurus, your lover was like, I don't see nothing wrong with it. What's wrong with that? And it's like, Taurus, you probably work like third shift or something. You work odd hours or you're always away. 
and you was telling your lover, keep your child's mother or your child's father out of my home when I'm not home. And Taurus, your lover, your lover didn't see it the way you saw it. Because the Queen of Wands in reverse, it's like, it's their way or no way. The Queen of Wands in reverse. It's her way or no way. That Queen of Wands in reverse. Or something like that. Yeah. Taurus, that Queen of Wands in reverse, she tried it. But something was a no-brainer for you, Taurus. That Queen of Wands in reverse, Lord have mercy. Mm. Taurus, I don't know if this Queen of Wands in reverse could also be your child. It's like, Taurus, say like, you could have been living with your child. It's like, Taurus, you probably don't have nowhere to stay. You was living with your child. Your adult child. Taurus, your adult child was disrespecting you, but at the same time, she or he wanted you to be a babysitter because you the grandmother. And Taurus, you like the hell with that. I can be, I might be homeless, but I ain't dumb or something like that. Taurus, you going, Taurus, you going to turn right back around and walk out. That Queen of Wands in reverse, Taurus, could have been trying to take advantage of you because you don't have stable housing. And Taurus, that Queen of Wands in reverse could be like your adult child. <laughs> and she was always partying and she felt as though you would, you, Taurus, you going to leave. Taurus, you could have even been helping your daughter pay her rent. You don't have housing, Taurus, but your daughter do. But she was like disrespecting you or something. Taurus, you gonna leave. Now your daughter don't have no babysitter. So, she ain't gonna party like she used to, Taurus, when you ain't there because she ain't got no babysitter. Or something like that going on. <sighs> something like that. That queen of wine's a reverse of trick. Let me see. Let me confirm what I'm talking about. That Queen of Wands in reverse is the type of person that just be having stuff all twisted. Tell me about this Queen of What's the spill with this Queen of Wands in reverse? Karma. <laughs> Taurus, the Queen of Wands in reverse was trying to give you karma. But she was like, this Queen of Wands in reverse was trying to do something to you, Taurus. It's like the Queen of Wands in reverse was holding a grudge, but she was trying to make you feel as though, Taurus, that you was holding a grudge and you wasn't. But that Queen of Wands in reverse won't get karma. <laughs> or the Queen of Wands in reverse was trying to give you karma, Taurus. Revenge will never solve anything. Karma will. Someone is getting karma for the pain they caused, receiving a dose of their own medicine. Taurus, for some of y'all, that Queen of Wands in reverse was trying to give you karma. And it it was like tacky. It was like no. Yeah, and that Queen of Wands a slacker and was trying to give you karma. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, for some of y'all, Taurus, that Queen of Wands in reverse wanted you to be her babysitter <laughs> or be his babysitter or something. And Taurus, you probably don't even got kids. Or your kids grown. And that Queen of Wands in reverse think you gonna sit at home and be babysitting her kids or babysitting his kids or something. Yeah, that Queen of Wands was trying to give you karma or something. Taurus, that Queen of Wands swore up and down she was giving you karma or he was giving you karma. This is like, okay, <laughs> you know how people say, I'm going to kill him with kindness. <laughs> Taurus, the Queen of Wands in Reverse thought they was killing you with kindness. Something like that. That Queen of Wands in Reverse just is a mess. Yeah, that Queen of Wands in Reverse, Taurus, thought they was killing you with kindness. So, Taurus, this can also be a situation where... The Queen of Wands is holding a grudge against you. I don't know what the Queen of Wands grudge is against you. But, Taurus, the, the Queen of Wands in reverse think that they're killing you with kindness about an accusation against you, Taurus. That's not even true. So, how are you killing me with kindness when I didn't even offend you? 
Taurus, you're going to be like, I I'm leaving. I, I mean, I came over here to be nice, to help you out, to make amends, to help you out. And you trying to kill me with kindness about something I didn't even do? Taurus, you're going to turn right back around and go about your business. Yeah, Taurus, that Queen of Wands in reverse could be like an old friend of yours. Uh, your child's mother, child's father, a parent, your adult child. Taurus, you're going to turn all the way back around and be like, girl, bye. I don't got time for that. <clears throat> Taurus, I don't know. You even could have booked a flight. And you could have even traveled to the Queen of Wands in reverse. And Taurus, it's like when you get there, it's going to be like some like stupidity going on. And Taurus, you like, I'm going back home. I didn't come all the way over here for that. Or something like that. Or Taurus, you could have put your love life on hold to like go help out the Queen of Wands in reverse. Oh man, Taurus, you're going to get there and realize you wasted your time. Somebody could still be offended by you, Taurus, or somebody don't trust you. They something. Taurus, you like, I don't got time. I'm going back home to my lover. I'm going back home to Taurus. You could have left something behind. You put something on hold to try to help out that Queen of Wands in reverse or something. And Taurus, you gonna leave and go back to your blessings, whatever this is, the three of wands. Yeah, something like that happening. Or, Taurus, somebody could have told you that they sober. They've been to rehab and they're sober. And you're going to get to them and find out they was lying. They still drink and they still party and they still have addictions. And they're trying to hide it from you, Taurus, and they can't. Or something like that. But let me end it. So, Taurus, that's... It was... It's... I feel like it's something... It's still something that I feel like... I'm forgetting or I left out. This reading feels incomplete a little bit. Or Taurus, you're going to feel incomplete or something. Or something is like so dumb. Taurus, that Queen of Wands in reverse could be very shallow. Like something is going to be so dumb, Taurus. Like something or somebody like wasted your time. Or something like that. Let me see. Give me the... What's the spell with this emperor? With this being a uh, Taurus overall energy. What's the spell with the emperor? Because I feel like something is just incomplete. Like I didn't... Can you, Taurus, keep shining. Something is foolish. That Queen of Wands in reverse. Doing something foolish. It's just dumb. The Queen of Wands in reverse got something all twisted, Taurus. And you ain't got time. You're not arguing with that Queen of Wands. Everybody, you're just not going to do it. Your light irritates their toxic demons. Yeah. Um, Give me the spill about this patience. Taurus, this could be your adult child. And Taurus, you're just going to have to be patient and maybe wait for your child to like grow up, learn a lesson or something. Taurus, I don't know. Maybe your adult child didn't forgive you about something that could happen in their childhood or something. And Taurus, you like, I don't, I don't have time. Yeah, for the clout, yeah. <sighs> Doing it all for the fame, attention, views, doesn't want to be left alone being fake. Yeah. So Taurus, I don't know if somebody could have like was filming you or recorded a phone call or something. Or, Taurus, you're going to get to the Queen of Wands in reverse house and they're recording you, Taurus, or something. Taurus, you're going to have to be patient because somebody doing something for the clout. Or somebody being fake and being phony. Taurus, somebody's trying to make it seem like they want to reconcile with you or something like that. And they didn't. They just wanted to give you karma or something like that. Just, yeah. Yeah. Taurus, you the emperor. So, Taurus, you could be a father and, and, and this could be your child or something. Or, Taurus, your father could have a... Taurus, you could be a man and, like, your father is trying to compete with you. 
this is something like dumb. This is like ghetto. Taurus, you could be a man and your father wants to compete with you or something like that. Or Taurus, if you a man, your daughter is trying to like get her lover to fight you or she want to embarrass you or something because something you could have did to her in her childhood or something like that. That queen wise in reverse could be somebody's daughter or something. Or Taurus, you're going to get to somebody's house and they're not going to answer the door. Something like petty. Taurus, somebody might trick you too. So Taurus, somebody might call you somewhere and they're filming you. And it's like, Taurus, they're not going to answer the door, but they're filming you while you outside and um, they're not answering the door. And they might post it on social media, like somebody trying to embarrass you or something. Yeah, they might try to embarrass you. Somebody trying to embarrass you, Taurus. Or Taurus, this could be your child's mother or something. She going to tell you to come get the kids. And then when you get there, she not going. she's not home or something. But she could be filming it and she think it's funny. Or something like that. Somebody doing something stupid. Or Taurus, this is what somebody's going to apologize about. Being immature in the past or something. But let me end it. So this is Blood Pink Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And Taurus, enjoy the remainder of August. And thank you.